the information that we present for you will undoubtedly make your day more joyful and you will be able to experience this delight. If you are a senior citizen, get benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs, Social Security, SSI, SIS or Social Security Disability Insurance. Or if you are receiving assistance from the Department of Veterans Affairs, you are about to receive a check or a direct payment of $1,200. In order for you to be aware of what is taking place and how it is manifesting itself in your life, the objective of this movie is to offer you with an explanation of everything that is moving forward. During the periods in your life when you require support the most, this additional money is intended to be there for you to provide assistance. You should be conscious of this fact. Whether you are retired, have a disability, or have served our country as a soldier, this is something that is true, regardless of your situation. The fact that you are aware of this is of the utmost importance. Let's begin by discussing the individuals who are eligible to get these specific awards so that we can get things rolling. It is highly probable that you are already in the line to receive this additional assistance if you are currently receiving benefits from Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Security Income, Security Income, Social Security Disability Insurance, or Veterans Affairs, as a result, you are eligible to receive this additional assistance for the goal of expressing thanks to those individuals who have made significant contributions to our nation and the communities in which we live. This is a mechanism that the government has the ability to utilize. Regarding the acquisition of this sum of money, what are your plans for doing so? You will receive a check for $1,200 that is sent to your residence in a direct manner. For a good many of you, this will be the situation. It is possible that some individuals will discover that the money has already been deposited into your bank account. This is something that is likely to happen. Uh, because it is your money, you are free to spend it any way you see fit, whether it be on food, on paying your bills, or on getting something great for yourself. You have complete discretion over how you handle your finances. With regard to how you choose to spend money, you have complete choice. To get things rolling, let's have a conversation about the most essential prerequisites that must be fulfilled in order to earn this money. The fact that you are a citizen of the United States and that you are receiving one of the grants or benefits that are listed below from the government is one of the most important prerequisites. One of the most significant requirements is that you must be a citizen, but there are also certain constraints on the amount of cash you can earn. Beneficiaries of Social Security are entitled to receive a broad variety of benefits, each of which may be of a different kind. These benefits are made available to people who are eligible to receive them. Some examples of these types of benefits are pension payments, retirement benefits, disability insurance, Social Security disability insurance, and veterans disability compensation. Other examples include veterans disability compensation. To what extent do you feel that you should be classified as belonging to any of those categories? There is a considerable likelihood that you will be eligible to receive the whole $1,200 that has been increased in payment. And this is true regardless of your age. On the other hand, there are a few more requirements that must be adhered to in relation to the manner in which you file your taxes and the amount of money that you earn. There is a correlation between the amount of money you make and the laws that govern you. In the same manner that the previous stimulus checks were given, these payments of $1,200 will progressively stop being delivered to those who make more than a particular amount of money. All of the checks that have come before this one will be carried out in the same way. When it comes to taxpayers who are now single, the actual income restriction that applies to them is $75,000. The amount of $112,500 that is available to individuals who are the sole breadwinners in their households is higher than the amount of $150,000 that is available to married couples who filed their taxes jointly. If the amount of your income is greater than the minimum amount that is permitted for your filing status, then you will be obliged to submit a tax return within the specified time frame. Although you will continue to receive some money, the amount will progressively decrease as your salary continues to increase. This is despite the fact that you cannot stop receiving money. On the other hand, those who file their taxes jointly and have an annual income of more than $198,000 and those who have an annual income of more than $99,000 are exempt from having to make any payments going forward. This exemption is applicable to persons who file jointly as well as along with other individuals. It is important that you are aware of the fact that these limits are only applicable to the most recent tax return that the Internal Revenue Service has on file for you. This is something that you should be aware of. It is quite likely that the amount of money you made in 2022 will be taken into consideration in the event that you have just retired or been diagnosed with an illness and have begun collecting benefits in the years 2023 or 2024. This is because it is highly likely that you will have been receiving benefits at that time. When determining whether or not you are qualified for the program, the Internal Revenue Service will use either your tax return from 2021 or 2022, depending on which one is the most recent at the time that they process your payment. This will determine whether or not you are eligible for the program. Due to the fact that the Internal Revenue Service will use the most recent information that you have provided, this indicates that individuals who have just finished the process of paying their taxes will not be required to do any extra steps. Then even if you do not submit your taxes, it is highly possible that you will still be able to collect these installments of $1,200. This is due to the fact that your income is too low. It is due to the fact that your revenue is insufficient. 
On the other hand, it is quite likely that you will be forced to complete an additional assignment. This occurrence is highly possible. It is the responsibility of the Internal Revenue Service, sometimes known as the IRS, to encourage individuals who received government benefits in 2021 or 2022 but did not file a tax return to do so this year. In spite of the fact that they are not required to file a tax return in the vast majority of circumstances, they are compliant with this requirement. The provider will be able to verify that you are able to fulfill the requirements as a consequence of this and they will then pay the money to you. It is highly likely that the date when this crucial report and the money for the stimulus are going to be submitted is going to be sometime in the middle of October. During the fall season, it is anticipated that this date will take place at some point in time. We are going to get in touch with you as soon as those deadlines are decided upon and firmly fixed after they have been determined. It is anticipated that the Internal Revenue Service would be able to use payment information from the Social Security Administration to send you the money without requiring you to take any action on your behalf if you get Social Security payments but do not submit your taxes. This will be the case if you do not file your taxes. Even in the event that you do not file your taxes, this is still the situation. On the other hand, contrary to what the people who filed their taxes anticipated, it is highly probable that those payments will not be made on the schedule that was first scheduled. Having said that, the question that needs to be asked is concerning the amount of money that individuals can fairly anticipate getting. When you are receiving benefits from Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, Supplemental Security Income SSI, or the Veterans Affairs Unit VOW, and your income is lower than the amounts that are being phased out, the highest amount that you are eligible to receive is $1,200. The maximum amount that you are eligible to get if you fulfill the requirements is given here. Your immediate assistance in the form of monetary assistance, which amounts to $1,200 in total, will be provided to you. But as long as the combined income of the married couple remains below the threshold of $150,000 for joint filers throughout the course of the fiscal year, the potential payout for the married couple who receives benefits and files their taxes together is doubled to $2,000. And provided that they continue to file their taxes together, this opportunity is only available to married couples who file their taxes together. If your yearly income is greater than $75,000 or $150,000 if you file jointly, your payments will begin to decrease once you reach that total amount each year. This applies to both individuals and joint filers. In the event that you are a joint filer, this is the situation. If an individual earns more than the phase out levels that have been established, the real reduction is reduced by $50 for every $1,000 that is earned in excess of those limits. For the purpose of instance, a single retiree who comes into retirement with an annual income of $80,000 and is qualified to receive Social Security benefits would get around $1,000 in their retirement income. The by subtracting $200 from $1,200, which is the amount that the retiree would receive if they were $5,000 over the maximum amount of $75,000 that is allowed, this is the amount that is computed. In conjunction with this, there would be a decrease in the number of married couples who have children. On the other hand, it would be contingent upon the combination of the total amount of money that they make. Assume for a moment that a retired couple has a combined annual income of $160,000, which is $10,000 higher than the threshold of $150,000 for a combined income. In this scenario, the couple is eligible for retirement benefits.